What happens after you sign with a realtor? Hey everybody, Mike Walters with the Stern Team and Keller Williams back again for another Stern Team Market Minute. So you've done your due diligence, you've interviewed an agent or two, and now you've signed with them, you're actively working with them. What happens next? Well, let's first start off. We have got to make sure you have your pre-approval letter. That is the very basic and probably the most important step because you wanna be seen in front of sellers as having uh, cash or a loan that can look like cash and ultimately perform and close on the house. So getting your pre-approval is step number one. Step number two is really identifying what are your five wants, what are your five needs. Now, a want could be, hey, you want a yard. A need may be, you need five bedrooms because you've got six kids. But be really clear on what your five wants and what your five needs are. Also understand that when you're out shopping for homes, that it is unlikely that you're going to find a home that has all five wants, all five needs, okay? So if you settle on five or six of them, we found traditionally that's pretty good, okay? And the last piece is once we identify your five wants and needs, we start touring homes, we start looking at homes, um, and then really reducing uh, the, the list so that you ultimately get to that home that you wanna call your dream. So after that, we get into all the fun stuff of contracts, which we'll talk about in the next video. Anyways, guys, have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, call, text, or emails. We'd love to help.